is project blood strike is better than warzone mobile despite being only one tenth of the size of warzone mobile so today we received a new beta for project blood strike and there are few things which i noticed which are better than in warzone mobile so the first thing is actual game size currently the game size of warzone mobile is around 11 gb on ios and around 12.5 GP on Android and if you compare it to Blood Strike then the size of Blood Strike is only 800 MB or you can say 1 GP on Android and iOS which means that it can easily run on low and mid end devices as well for Android you can easily get 60 FPS on Project Blood Strike even if you have a mid end device as compared to Watch Mobile you are not even able to play on 30 FPS despite having a high end android device. Hopefully Virgin Mobile will fix this issue and optimize the game for android as well. And there are few other options which make it better than Virgin Mobile and hopefully Virgin Mobile will also add this option before global launch. Ok so the first option is in sensitivity option which is called sensitivity acceleration mode. If you don't know what it is then let me explain. So if you turn this off or if you set it to fixed speed, what will happen is that doesn't matter how fast you move your thumb on the screen the aim will move at a constant speed. For example, if you move your thumb slowly on the screen, it will cover the same distance as you move your thumb on the screen faster. But if you have turned this on or set it to distance boost, then what will happen if you move your thumb slowly on the screen, the aim will move slowly. But if you move your thumb faster on the screen, and the aim will move more. You can see that it have covered a lot of distance. Yeah, like you can see it have covered almost 180 yards. So that's how it works. And, and in Warzone Mobile, by default, it is turned on. And I really hate this. Hopefully they will add this option in the next update or in before global launch. I have also tweeted about it and mentioned them that they should add this option but I haven't got much retweets and likes on that tweet so they are not replying. So I request you guys to go and like that tweet and retweet it as well so that they can see and add this option as well. The next thing is if you go to control setting they have added 0% transparency which I really want in Warzone Mobile because currently in Warzone Mobile you can you lower your control sensitivity to only 10%. And I really want them to add it to 0% because after playing for a few days or few months, you get used to all the buttons so you don't need to see the buttons and especially if you are content creator, then it is very useful to have the sensitivity on 0 because it will let your viewers to see more on the screen as compared to when there are a lot of buttons. The next option which we have in Blood Strike but which we currently don't have in Warzone Mobile is Graphics Setting. And in that graphics setting, they have added a new option in which we haven't seen in any other mobile game. Like we haven't seen this option is Call of Duty Mobile or PUBG Mobile, which is resolution. So in Project Blood Strike, you can adjust your graphics, you can adjust your FPS, and you can adjust your resolution as well. So if you have a low-end device, then you can set your graphics and resolution to low and your FPS to max. But if you have a high-end device, then you can set all these options to high. And I really want Warzone Mobile to add the graphics setting option as soon as possible. And one more thing which you notice here is FOV option. So FOV is an option which allows you to see more area on the screen. And currently Warzone Mobile don't have this option as well. So these were the few options which I really want in Warzone Mobile. And I also want Warzone Mobile to optimize their game. I know it is very difficult to optimize Warzone Mobile as compared to Project Bloodstrike because Project Bloodstrike has a very small map and it is not as much detailed as Warzone Mobile. But I really want Warzone Mobile to optimize their game. So that's it for this video. These were the few options which I really want in Warzone Mobile and hopefully they will add them as well. And if you guys want me to make a comparison video of Project Bloodstrike and Warzone Mobile and make sure to subscribe my channel and hit that like button so you don't miss any news and videos related to Warzone Mobile or any other new game. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.